Welcome to Mentor Training 4. For this session, you will need your mentor handbook and the mentoring standards that were sent to you through Interschool Mail. Let's get started. First, let's look at our content objectives. Today, you will reflect on your mentoring experiences. You will implement new mentoring language and refine the use of your mentoring language. You will assess your practice using mentoring standards and you will utilize your handbook resources as needed. Our agenda today, first we will start with our opening and overview. You will have two learning sessions today. The first one is reflecting and assessing your mentoring practice and then looking at mentoring language. And finally, we will look at how you can finish strong as a mentor in USD 259. I'd like to remind you of our KSDE guidelines for mentoring. First, it's very important that you are communicating with your beginning teacher weekly. You can do this face-to-face, -face, through email, or telephone or text. You also need to make sure that you are observing your teacher at least three times this school year. If you have not already completed two observations, please do that quickly. Remember, all three need to be done by the end of the school year. You also need to make sure that you are watching these videos and have attended your mentor trainings. All right, let's take some time to look at the phases of our first year teacher. If you remember, they first started out in the anticipation stage, then moved to survival, then down to disillusionment. Now they are going to rejuvenation, reflection, and then anticipation for next year. Right now, most of our teachers are in the rejuvenation and reflection stage. During phase four, you see a slow improvement of attitude. Their toolbox is starting to grow. They have a change in attitude. They can do this. They are a good teacher. They're going to survive the year. Then when they move into phase five, reflection, they can see that the end is in sight. They can see the success and that they've actually completed their first year of teaching. Let's go ahead and look in our phases tab. On page six, you will see more about the rejuvenation and reflection stage of teaching. Go ahead and pause the video, look through those two stages, and highlight or star any important information that you would like to remember about these two stages. Okay. Now that you've looked at the last two phases of teaching, let's look at the calendar pages to see how you can support your beginning teacher to finish strong. Go ahead and turn to the calendar tab in your mentor handbook. Find the calendar pages for February, March, April, and May. Please pause the video, look through those calendar pages, and find some next steps and things that you would like to do with your beginning teacher. Please pause the video now. Now that you've had time to look and figure out some next steps with your beginning teacher, we're going to move to assessing your mentoring practice with Amanda.